Hi, um, my name's Thiraya Abdul Russell. I'm 19 years old and I'm a law student. I'm originally from Iraq. I live out west with my mum and my dad and my younger brother who's five years younger than me. But not for long because I'm moving to Wellington. Yay! Well, maybe yay. Um, the reason why I'm moving is because I didn't get into law at Auckland University. And also, I don't know, maybe kind of any excuse to leave home and get to experience living by myself. I love, love, love sport. I've got my netball trophy, my basketball trophy came third place, you know? It's not first, but it's a place. I'm in a football team made up of all Muslim girls. We met up through a Muslim association. Right now, me and my team are training super hard for a tournament that's coming up in a couple of weeks. <laughs> okay, just come in for a second. Your mission is to take a ball off one of these players. All right, so once you intercept the ball, that person that you've taken the ball off then becomes the tagger. Make sense? Yeah. All right, this is our warm-up. All right, let's go. Play. Being a Muslim girl in New Zealand, if I go anywhere, I always get the double take when I go out to the mall, when I go to the beach. And every time we play sports, it does make you self-conscious. For me, and I feel like for the majority of Muslim girls, it's just this barrier. So through the soccer team, to be honest, it makes me feel like I belong somewhere. Going to Wellington and leaving these girls behind is gonna be really hard. I always get people come up to like me. I think we all do, eh? When they're like, oh, I'm so surprised like a Muslim girl would be doing something like this. It's the same thing in Middle Eastern countries and stuff yeah. and, you know, Muslim countries. I think it's just seen as not feminine to be competitive. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. Most of the competitive sports, like the stuff they wear as well. Like, I mean, yeah. beach volleyball. Oh, yes, that's right. Or like netball or... Tennis as well, you have to... It's their uniform to wear a short skirt if yeah, you're a female. Exactly. So it's, it's made the environment really hard for Muslim women to play. I am a Kiwi, so I should be able to go out and play sports without people assuming that just because I wear a headscarf, it holds me back. A piece of material isn't going to do that. And this isn't just with sports. I face this in every aspect of my life. So tell me, how is your feeling now about going to Wellington? I'm really excited about Wellington, but I'm getting real nervous too now. I think you're going to do well. It's, it's just like not... I don't know what to expect. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm worried, especially when I'm by myself, someone's going to come up and attack me verbally. But I think um, I still expect you, you know how to deal with that. Yes, it is not easy. But at the same time, like, remember how many times I have been like verbally attacked? like having a 30-year-old lady reversing her car all the way from down the street just to, like, cuss me out. Stuff like that. G catching the bus and having one of the boys tell me to get off terrorists. But you could just ignore it. I know it's, it's like something it annoying. In Wellington, I know absolutely no one. So, like, in the city, just, like, walking to the bus stop by yourself, it's like, oh, what an easy target, you know? So that, that fear, I feel like it is justified. I kind of wish it wasn't. Today's a day of the Cultural Festival Soccer Tournament. Um, it's the last day I'm going to play with my girls and see them before I go to Wellington. 
I'm really sad that I'm leaving them, but hopefully I'll leave on a winning high. So this tournament is a part of the Auckland's Cultural Festival. They have soccer here every single year, but this is the first time they've got a women's tournament. All right, come on in, everybody. Okay, so I hope we're all excited. Um, we are privileged, as you know, this is the first time that a Muslim team has gathered at this cultural festival, so I think you guys should be really, really proud of yourselves, where you started and where you've come. How do you feel about going to Wellington? I'm excited, but I'm nervous as well, and like, especially when I'm with the girls, I'm yeah, like yeah, extremely yeah. sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but that's cool because you're going to make new friends down there. Yeah. All I can do is I've probably got some friends in Futsal down there anyway. Oh, really? So I can email those to you if awesome. you want, and you can, if you like that. And yeah. I would love for you to continue because yeah. it's important. It's not only for yourself, yeah. but you showing other people um, mm -hmm. in your culture that you can play sport. Yeah. It is actually an okay thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Nice job. I'm gonna miss Thanks you, girl. I'm gonna miss you. Have a hug. All right, you did so well. Be proud <laughs> of yourself, you. hey? You'll be great. Pull it into practice, girls, and let's go and kill Mount Roscoe. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I think everything in life, you're going to have factors that's going to make it scary and you're going to be nervous about a lot of things, but just because it's scary doesn't mean you should put your life on hold. Just because I'm a bit nervous about living by myself, a bit nervous about being abused or being yelled at, it's happened my entire life. So the fact that I'm living at home isn't stopping it. I think the only difference is now you're going to have to deal with it on your own. So, it's my third week in Wellington, coming to the end of the week. I only got a little, not homesick, but I really started missing my friends last week. I haven't seen many women with headscarves on in Wellington. Because Auckland's more diverse, I feel like it's not really a big deal if you see someone in their cultural outfit. Whereas in Wellington, I notice that like when I walk down the street, I get a lot more glances. I'm on the bus trying to find a halal butcher. Notice I say the halal butcher, there's only one butcher in Wellington. All of Wellington, one butcher. It's pissing down with rain. Didn't put my rain jacket on on time. Hopefully, once I find it, it'll get better. Hopefully I'll get happier, yeah. Hi there. Waalaikum assalam. Waalaikum assalam. Do you have any, like, skinless chicken breast? Whole chicken breast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just over there. Fifteen ninety nine a kilo. How many do you like? Can there? I please have two chicken breasts? Two chicken breasts? Yep. Um, so you're the only halal butcher in Wellington? Yes, we are the only one. Only halal. Oh, okay. It's weird. Different from Auckland. Oh, yeah. yeah. Auckland got like, I think, 18 yeah. or 20. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. A lot of butchers. Thank yeah. you so yeah. much. I'll see you in a week. Okay. See you Bye. <laughs> I miss you so much. Me too. Are you feeding yourself there? I am. Do you just house every day? No, no. I'm actually cooking for myself, believe it or not. Today I really did miss my friends. I just missed how, like, we could be crazy and loud together and, like, not be judged. Or even if we are being judged because we have each other, it really doesn't matter. It's really hard when you're by yourself. Okay, then. See ya! Make more friends! I will. I will, I will. I've made a couple of friends now. 
Camel lives in my building, and James, who I met through Torts. He's pretty cool, even though he supports Liverpool. How are you finding uni so far? You like it? Yeah, I do. Um, it's real different from Auckland uni, but in a good way. What's it like, like walking down the street? Do you feel like, do you feel like you stand out? Honestly, I do. Mm. But I feel like even though I do stand out more mm -hmm. than I do in Auckland, I feel more accepted. Yeah. Which, honest, I was, it's so surprising to me. We're in the same hostel together, yeah. right? Do you get involved in clubs and stuff? At Stafford, there's real, like, you know, they've got movie nights and stuff. It's real cute, like barbecues. And, like, me and Carmel were like, wanted to join the hiking club. Mm. So we went together. I honestly thought it was like physical activity, like extreme hiking. Yeah. And then it was like, yeah, we're gonna go on a hike and then have a party in the like in the wilderness and have all this like bring your own alcohol and da 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 da. You know, I'm like, really? Like Maybe the chess club hiking? they might not have alcohol, I don't know. No, I'm pretty probably sure they do. You know? <laughs> no, they probably play a version of chess where when you checkmate them you have to drink like, <laughs> like <a> whole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For me, the only reason why I have an issue with alcohol, and I don't really tell many people this. So I feel very privileged. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I'm so afraid that they're gonna get aggressive. I have been verbally attacked before for wearing a headscarf and they're sober. What the heck are they gonna do once they're drunk and I'm standing right in front of them, you know? Yeah, that's true. So that's, that's why I don't like alcohol. It's cause I, I'm afraid. So like, when it's like in the bushes, when they're hiking, I'm kind of afraid. I'm like, I have nowhere to run if someone starts attacking me, you yeah. know? I'll probably throw myself off the cliff. <laughs> so Coach Faye's been sending me emails and um, contacting me about joining a football team down here. I don't really feel like that confident to do it by myself but I mean coach Faye has gone through all the trouble to help me find a football team like I am excited I'm just I'm really nervous as well hopefully I'll remember how to run and like kick a ball and stuff and ju just the basics that's all you need for football really From, from me here. Okay. We're just doing some simple passes, okay? Okay. So what I want you to do is um, catch it with that part of your foot there. So look at inside there, yeah? Okay. So nice and loose. Take this foot over the ball and follow through with that, okay? One of the things I wanted to work on coming down to Wellington was being more open and just not shying away. And I feel like I kind of let myself down. Okay. Do you, yeah, so you're doing good. Keep your eyes open. The only thing is, is relax. Relax, you know? Loosen out. you got to relax, because you'll, you'll hurt your shoulders if you're going for a header in a game. So you got to relax, lean back, like, nice and loose, and then go for it, OK? After today, I really realised how dependent I am on my girls to, like, make me happy and, like, laugh and stuff. So. All those things that I wanted to achieve, I don't know if I'm confident enough to step out of my shell and my comfort zone. Maybe I can't play with other people. Great practice tonight. Remember, a game this Sunday is 3 o'clock here at Wakefield. What I'll do during the week is I'll give you all a ring just to let you know what position you're going to be playing in. And everyone remember that after, after the game, we're having a few drinks in, in the club rooms. So we'll have the other team will be in and we'll do a little bit of a presentation of just thanking them for coming. We will see you back here Sunday, two o'clock. Kick off at three. Okay. Hello. Hi Mama. Hello, darling. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm all right. How was your first two days of the holiday? It's been really lazy. Okay. It's not going to stay like that for long. Like, the holidays are, like, beginning, but I'm still going to be really busy, not just with assignments, with... You know that team I went and took the training for? 
Yeah. And that coach Faye told me to go. Um, Caroline called me the coach, and she wants me to play. You kidding? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Hey, Baba. Hello, honey. Yeah. So they call me to play for the team, and she's like, "Yeah, well, we were wondering if like you want to like play with us like this weekend," and I was like, "Um, yeah, yeah, sure, <laughs> of course." Um, I don't know. I told her I like either midfield or striker, but she's gonna carry the bottles for the player. <laughs> oh, <thanks. laughs> Bench warmer and water boy. Yeah, that's. You know, I would still make that work. Okay, I would still make it work. <laughs> nah, um, I am a little bit nervous just because um they have the whole get together after the game thing down here, um, and you know how like especially when it comes to sports. Like the alcohol, it's like such a big thing. Mm. I wonder how much like alcohol is going to be. Okay. Soraya, we, we talked about that before. You, you yeah. just need to be relaxed about that. Give them their space, um, respect their um, preference. And when you do that, you demonstrate for them that, um, you know, they also have to respect your uh, uh, preference on this matter. And, you know, you, I don't think they will get drunk straight away, but, uh, you know... I don't know how many drinks it takes, okay? I'm kind of new to all this. <laughs> talking about the game and stuff and they are kind of making me feel a lot more calm. Got my yellow jersey on, you know, feel like, feel like I'm pulling off this outfit. I've totally accessorized with my headscarf and my tights which I think makes it look fabulous. Um, so now that I've dressed the part I really gotta play hard. Um, I am nervous about not playing that well but these girls like are so sweet so I think they'd be fine with it. Um, but at the same time, I do want to give it my all. Our midfield then, on the left, we have Antonio. Centre mid is Vanya and Sonia. Same as last week, girls. And then over on the right, we have Jamie. All right, girls, let's find out. Thank you. And that was very good. So uh, I like, I just can't wait to improve. To be honest, a few yeah. training sessions. Yeah, but it was it was good to get out there. You know, I missed it. Yeah, no. So where did you play before this? Um, I played social football in Auckland, like with a bunch of friends. But I never like joined a club or a team. Yeah. Until now. Un until now. Oh, until now. Until now. <laughs> Moving down to Wellington, making new friends, joining a soccer team with no Muslim girls on it has been really, really hard, but extremely gratifying. Would you like a drink? Um, what, do you have any, like, non... Non-alcoholic. There is Coke, orange juice, water, 
Can I please have orange juice? OJ? No problem. Yeah. Growing up, I feel like I have been a really paranoid about how people perceive me and I've let that stop me doing a lot of things. Moving to Wellington has made me realise that it's the problem isn't how people perceive me, the problem is how I perceive myself. Your parents weren't worried about where are you going to be living, no. who are you going to be hanging out with? No. Do you know that honestly, like, I feel like I was more worried than they were. Like, I was like, okay, so, um, I'm moving to Wellington. They're like, okay, yeah, good, sweet, like, have fun. And I'm like, are you not worried? Like, what if something happens to me? Like, how do you know I'm going to be responsible? Like, what if I don't feed myself properly, you know? I honestly never thought I'd be able to do the stuff without having my support system with me. I never thought I'd be able to be this independent. Big news guys, um, I played for the second time with the new football team and got player of the day. Super excited, I know that I can get out of my comfort zones and go into social and sporting events that I didn't think I could before. I really cannot wait till the next game. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.